Here we have two memory modules. The package looks like this. They are identical. So it's DDR4 memory. 16 gigabytes is the size. 3200 megahertz is the speed. PC4 25600 is the codename for that. It has RGB LEDs somewhere on the top. Okay, and it's a desktop memory. So it's not for laptops. A data is mentioned here. And CL161818 is the latency. And inside the box is this. So the memory looks like this. It has cooling on the two sides. This gray thing is metal. This is plastic. XPG. The same thing here. DDR4, 3200 megahertz, 16 gigabytes, CS16, 1.35 volts. You can see the heat transfer pads between the chips and the metal. They look the same on both sides. It has a cut here, both of them. So the center is lower, and the sides are taller and there is a notch they are not in the center you can see here's the pc and it already has one memory module that one you have to push down the sides that and that and the module comes out so you have to move these things up or down now it's closed now it's opened opened closed the same thing down here lock lock unlock unlock so that's the old module it's also 16 gigabyte new module also 16 but the speed is not the same that is 2133 megahertz Whereas this is 3200, so 1100 is more here. And the cut is the same, that notch, this is in the same location. So the notch is a bit higher, is not exactly in the center. Let's see, can I insert it that way? By the way, there are four slots and you cannot insert it in any one of those. No, the notch is not there, so... I have to rotate it. When you push it, that closes by itself. Like so, and like so. So now that is inserted. Now let's insert another one with that notch down. Let's use the first slot. Okay, and okay. So I inserted just two, an older one and slower one and a newer and faster. So in this case it should use the speed of the slower one. But let's see what will happen. First of all there is no RGB light. Now there is. That's nice. There's nothing on the monitor. The monitor is off. It's orange. Now it's blue. Devices change, CPU or memory or CMOS have been cleared. Please enter setup to configure your system. F1 to run setup, F2 to load default values and continue. Let's just load the default values, that is F2. F2 on the keyboard. Windows is loading. The lights are fancy. Just ignore the increasing CPU cooler noise. BIOS was reset back to default settings. But the PC is working fine. So I just inserted a new memory module and the PC is working. Now let's see in task manager, performance and memory. It says I have 32 gigabytes. That's correct because I have an older 16 gigabytes and a newer 16 gigabytes. And it's running at the lower modules speed, 2133 megahertz. And two slots are used out of four. Okay, now I will remove the older module and the speed should go higher. Let's see if that is true. So I will shut down the computer. Let's remove the old module and start the PC.
the same message I have to load the defaults F2 I have to manually configure BIOS and save the settings and hopefully that message will disappear and here in Windows on the memory module the speed is higher but it's not 3200 neither 2100 but 2600 so I need to overclock it I think because in the motherboards manual it's mentioning OC so if I search for MSI B 350 PC mate then here it mentions DDR4 but OC so I have to overclock it I think otherwise it's not 3200 but it's 2600 I will shut it down and insert the new module again now both of the new modules are inserted the lighting is identical now with two modules inserted it's not 2600 but 2400 so the speed got lower with two modules but the size is 32 gigabytes 32 so I want to insert this also let's see if it will accept it or not so now all three modules are inserted and it's accepted so now I have 48 gigabytes of memory but it's using the speed of the slowest module 2100 and surprise surprise the PC turned off by itself and is not moving turned off again and again okay so let's remove the older module something is not okay for it Let's enter BIOS and see what we can do. Press delete to enter BIOS, at least on this motherboard. Press F1 to run setup. And the PC turned off by itself because my modified water pump got plugged out. So I think it's not related to memory but to cooling. The processor overheated. Here in the BIOS, let's go here to overclocking and here I have an AXMP loads memory profile with optimized timing and voltage settings supported by installed memory module so let's just enable it profile 1 and it jumped to 3200 profile 2 gives it only 3000 let's try that one this is a 3200 megahertz module so let's try that one which is profile one go to save and exit and save changes and reboot enter let's see what will happen windows is loading and yes speed is 3200 and 32 gigabytes so both of the modules are running successfully at their maximum speed so I just enabled the XMP and the speed got higher using this older module XMP was not present there in the BIOS so let's just insert this also and let's see if XMP will be shown in the BIOS shutting down and the PC is powering on and off by itself with those three modules inserted it turned off two times now it seems to be better I think it restarted again yes F1 to enter setup again and at overclocking yes there is no XMP <laughs> it says 3200 megahertz okay let's accept it F10 and enter it turned on and off now this is the second time so it's working 48 gigabytes three modules of 16 gigabytes and of course it's running at the smallest speed 2100 megahertz so the bench r23 it's pretty high it's above an i9 that's weird that's the multi-core test 14 passes and it got 17793 that's for the multi-core test now let's start the single core the single core test is much much slower it needs eight more minutes and the single core test finished 1297 points 
that was with three modules and at the slowest speed now let's remove the slowest module and repeat it just with the faster ones and here's the single core result so this is with both of the modules inserted the two faster modules and the slower module here it had 48 gigabytes and 1297 points and here it had just the two faster modules that is 32 gigabytes and it received 1300 116 points so there's a tiny tiny difference between using a slower memory and a faster memory here it was using the speed of the slowest module and the multi-core is this one same thing three modules faster and slower two modules only the faster ones barely any difference now let's test it only with the slowest module so i will remove these faster ones they are just a little bit warm, they are not cold. I have to insert it into the second slot, otherwise, as I remember, it's not going to work. So with only the slow module, the multi-core and the single core score is this. So with only the slow module inserted in 3D Mark Vantage, I got with just one module inserted, I constantly get this message, full screen state lost. Two modules inserted, 66,168 points. With all three modules inserted, the green is there on the right side, the score is 64,000, so it is slightly lower because it's running at a lower frequency. So just 2,000 points, around 2,000, is the difference between using a slower memory and a faster memory. 48 gigabytes at a lower 2,100 megahertz. So there is no big gain by using a faster memory quantity is much more important than speed, at least in these tests.